You ever look into the stars and wonder if there's an alien species that's looking up to their stars and wondering if we exist? Well, did you know that the light from those stars, it's all ancient history by the time we see it. Even if there was a planet near that star that had life on it, it's probably long gone or hasn't even started yet. Today, we're gonna to be talking about space a little bit and how do we know how far things are? Okay, how do we know that these stars and planets are so old or that what we are viewing is old? We just look at how long it takes light to move through space. Light travels, light travels in the vacuum of space at almost 200,000 miles per second. That's pretty dang fast. Then we measure how far light travels in a year to get a light year. That number, six trillion miles. I can't, I don't understand. Six trillion miles. Put that into perspective, our closest star besides the sun, is Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri, Centauri, which is more than four light years away. So, so quick math on that one. Six, 12, 18, 20, it's the lot of miles. Further something in space is from us, the longer it takes for us to view it. For example, we see the moon as it was 1.2 seconds ago, and the sun eight minutes ago. Consider this. You ever watch the news and there's a delay between the two people speaking? Welcome back. We're joined by Tom, who's on the surface of Mars, who's gonna tell us what's so different about that planet from Earth. <laughs> Tom? Thank you, Steve. Uh, yes, yeah, so based on what you can see behind me, uh, the planet is red. Uh, you know, where Earth is typically blue or green. Very insightful. Thanks again, Tom. They have to broadcast their signal using satellites, which takes time to go up to the satellite and then back down. And then it goes all in reverse. Now imagine that satellite is further out in space. You're gonna have a longer delay. Well, that's what's happening with everything we see in space. The further out, the longer the delay. So the dinosaurs went extinct 66 million years ago. Imagine that there's an alien species out there observing our planet and going, mm, well, there's not really any higher intelligent life forms on this planet, let's just skip it. Then that alien species exists for say, another highly unlikely, very generous 10 million years. They die out because of time or the sun explodes or two galaxies collide or they just destroy their own planet like we're doing. Well, we could be doing the same thing now with other planets because it's old footage, it's all outdated. It's kind of like observable time travel, but only the past. Scientists have dated our known universe to be 13 billion years old. Since the Big Bang happened, it's been expanding ever since for 13 billion years. And it's not showing any signs of slowing down. In fact, it's speeding up. Depending on how far you go into space, some of those objects are moving faster than the speed of light. It's believed that these parts of the universe are so far away and moving so fast that they will never be viewable to us on Earth. For something that seems so empty, it has so much that we will never know. As always, thanks for watching and what did you learn today? <laughs>